Hello, my name's Marty DeBerge. I'm a filmmaker. I make a lot of commercials. You know the one with the Italian gentleman who wears a braid and has litter thrown at him? That little tear? That was mine. Back in 1999, I went down to the CRRA conference in San Francisco at the old Exploratorium. Don't bother looking for it now, it's no longer there. All those kids touching around on the exhibits with their germy little fingers. Good riddance, I say. That night, I saw a show that, for me, redefined the word modular. I remember being knocked out by their exuberance, their raw power, and their punctuality. That troupe was CRRA's now legendary Nicker Players. Well, 21 years and 20 shows later, the Nicker Players are still going strong and they've earned themselves a, uh, a distinguished mark on CRA's history as one of CRA's only shows. So in the spring 2020, when I heard that Nicker Players were rehearsing a new show, well, needless to say, I, I jumped at the chance to make a documentary, a mockumentary, if you will. Due to the current climate, they've traded in their fishnets and high heels for face masks and pajama bottoms, not just Todd and John. <laughs> I wanted to capture the sights, sounds, the smells of a hard-working recycling theater troupe. I got a lot more, a whole lot more. But hey, <laughs> enough of my yakking. What do you say? Let's boogie. Reduce, reuse, recycle, rot, sustainability is hot. Bottles, cans, plastic jugs, zero is a new club. Single use, no hugs, don't use disposable mugs. Can't sweep under the rug, paper cuffs are a thug. rat a tat tat tell me how recycle, are we recycling? Everyone's asking, pandemic issues, everybody has some force majeure. Yeah, that's a new question. Girl, what did that girl just say, girl? Ooh, girl, I don't use those bags, bags, I don't toss, I save, save. I I would rather share, share, share them waste away. And then there's CDC, that's just the tea, hun tea. Reuse will set them free. Then I'm gonna let them see. What you gonna let them see? Reduce, reuse, recycle, rot. 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 No bags, more waste that. Don't spark joy, Marie Kondo. Come on, Trader Joe's. Back home, remove junk, take out trash. Just wipe, wipe, close the lid. Mask in, cancer. Take out to go. I can't recycle. Can this get worse? What's the life cycle? Flushing wipes, not swimming in plastic. Where is all the murder hornets? Girl, what did that girl just say, girl? Ooh. Girl, I don't use those bags, bags, I don't toss, I save, save. I would rather share, share, share than waste away. Let's stop the ACC, that's just the tea, hunt tea. Hopefully plastic free, then I'm gonna let them see. What you gonna let them see? Reduce, reuse, recycle, rot, 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 reduce, reuse, recycle, rot. Waste nerds, let's show how it's done. Come on, zero waste and close the loop. Zero waste and close the loop. Now I want to see recyclables. Grab that picker, get your gloves, get your tie back. Cause I know you want to audit, but it's time to educate. Come on. Crest for me, crest for me, crest, crest for me, crest for me, crest, crest for me, crest for me, crest, crest for me, crest for me, crest. Flatten for me, 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 flatten for me. Pour for me, pour for me, pour, pour for me, pour for me, pour, pour for me, pour for me, pour, pour for me, pour for me, pour. Scrape for me, scrape for me, scrape, scrape for me, scrape for me, scrape, scrape for me, scrape for me, scrape, scrape for me, scrape for me, scrape. Now clean for me, clean for me, clean, clean for me, clean for me, clean, clean for me, clean for me, clean, clean for me, clean for me, clean. Now compost, now compost, now stir, compost, now compost, now stir, compost, now compost, now stir, compost, now compost, now.
downstairs. Don't it close for me, close for me, close, close for me, close for me, close, don't it close for me, close for me, close, close for me, close for me, close. Close the loop for me, the loop for me, the loop, the loop for me, the loop for me, the loop, the loop for me, the loop for me, the loop, the loop for me, the loop for me, the loop. Fix it for me, fix it for me, fix, fix it for me, fix it for me, fix, fix it for me, fix it for me, fix, fix it for me, fix it for me, fix it for me, twerk for me, twerk, twerk for me, twerk for me, twerk, twerk for me, twerk for me, twerk, twerk for me, twerk for me, twerk, put a cart for me, the cart for me, the cart, the cart for me, the cart for me, the cart, the cart for me, the cart for me, the cart, the cart for me, the cart for me, the cart, be safe for me, be safe for me, be safe, be safe for me, be safe for me, be safe, be safe for me, be safe for me, be safe, be safe for me, be safe for me, be safe. That's all. So, tell me about the origins of the Nicra players. Well, it started on the shoulders of the Barbie Tree Incarnation Cycle Town players. But some of them were pretty short. The props were always larger than life, or at least life sized. And how's a snake to a guy in a barrel handing out official reports? I know lots of things. People don't give me much credit for what I see and what I hear. The whole thing was underwritten by Recology, NorCal at the time, but without their knowledge or consent. Will you be attending the Nick Players show? Nah, I'm so tired of them, those Nick Players. It's the same thing year after year. Zero waste this and zero waste that. Plus, it's kind of a vanity project. I was including their spouses and children in the show. <laughs> ah, those Nicker player gigs. A real mixed bag of nuts. They're nutty, all right. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but we kept losing our drummer. They have cycled and recycled through a lot of players. They were always looking for new feedstock, as it were. Let's hear them give it a shot. We live in a world that's held hostage, don't want to be a drag, but dag, we insanely demolish all that we need to live and breathe. We've got to abolish the reason to bury and burn. We carry concern and acknowledge their diamonds in the rough, a shiny piece of trash, don't want to turn it to ash or let it sit in a mass where it will last and last. We want to keep it in use, avoiding abuse from the least to the roots. We will be gathering fruits instead of making a mess. We'll see how ugly it gets. What will we feel our regrets? The plan is to fan the spark into a flame. We're here for a change, so let me spell out the name. We are the MC. R-A-P-L-A-Y-E-R-S. Here today. And I'm not throwing away my cup. Hi, this is Betty Jo Bagstrong. You know me as the bassist for the junk rock band Greenwash. And I'm here with an important tip on how you can save the planet. When you go to the grocery store, be sure to ask for one of these thick plastic bags. They're completely reusable. After you put your groceries away, simply place the bags into your recycling bin and they will be reused. The more reusable bags you get at the store, the better it is for the environment. Thanks for listening, and remember, stay green. <laughs> hey, Jen. Hey, Ruth. Thanks for picking me up. I'm so glad you're in my bubble, and we can carpool to the grocery store together. Oh, that's awesome. I brought my reusable bags. Oh, no, you can't use those at the grocery store. We got uh, this COVID thing going on. No, you just put the groceries back in your cart or have them do it, if that's the protocol, and then you take your groceries to the car and you bag them up at your car. 
Oh, okay. Uh, I could do that. That sounds good. That sounds great. That sounds great. Shall yeah. we go um, and get something to drink first? Go to the shop, the coffee shop? Oh, sure. And I brought uh, my cup. I get iced coffee, my reusable cup. Oh, no, no, no. You cannot. You bring that to the coffee store. No, no, no. You can't. That, the coronavirus. No, 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 no. You oh, can't I don't know. Your... I make my own coffee, so I don't know these things. I can't? No, no, oh. no, no. Uh, yeah. No. Why? They're really going to have to rethink this. Yeah, man, they really will. So, I don't know. Mm. You want to um, you want to listen to some tunes on the way? Sure. Sure. Sounds good. Let's see. Yeah, this is an oldie. <laughs> Very goody. Good afternoon. Addressing concerns over reusable bags and the potential for them to spread COVID-19 to grocery store workers, Governor Gavin Newsom taking action statewide. Good evening. I deeply appreciate your joining me on an important occasion to update you on critical matters facing our states. Before I give you an update on COVID and how we are fighting against it and reworking, rewriting our economy and everything we do, my bag, rainbow fabric, your bag, single-use plastic, my bag, local village, your bag, global pillage, my bag all about Frida Kahlo, your bag all about feeling hollow, my bag, lovingly hand quilted, your bag, something wilted, my bag from a local bookstore, your bag from a dinosaur, my bag holds a 20 pound cat, your bag, what's up with that? My bag, five fruits and veggies. Your bag, penguin wedgies. My bag decorated with bamboo and tells your bag, I'm ashamed of you. My bag made of stainless steel. Your bag headed straight for the landfill. My bag, one best bag. Your bag, one best polluting bag. Starting about five months ago, the first shelter in place Bay Area health orders took an extraordinary step of banning customers from bringing their bags into the stores to protect against all possible COVID transmission. Now this resulted in many customers to have to be subject to single-use bags, even single-use plastic. It's time that we let the world see we stand with her or not the plastic industry. We're doing the right thing because prevention is 50 times better than recycling. 
it's time that we let the world see We stand with her, not the plastic industry We're doing the right thing Cause prevention's 50 times better than recycling My bag has flower power but Your bag makes me feel sour My bag celebrates elephants Your bag celebrates irrelevance My bag has a handy clip Your bag Call that stewardship? My bag holds a homegrown beat. Your bag blowing down the street. My bag has its own motif. Your bag stuck on a coral reef. My bag holds a tasty cheese. Your bag clear cut trees. We have seen the number of non reusable bags increase per day across the state. We were trending up. A very troubling concern. Well, at this point, then, the state was able to issue key critical guidance by Cal OSHA on how reusable bags could be brought into the store and used safely. The guidelines simply say that customers simply have to keep their bags in their cart or basket, do their own bagging, avoid contact with employees or conveyors or surfaces and other store surfaces. So that way customers can easily bring their own bags, handle it themselves and do it all safely. It's time that we let the world see We stand with her or not the plastic industry We're doing the right thing Because prevention is 50 times better than recycling It's time that we let the world see We stand with her, not the plastic industry We're doing the right thing Because prevention is 50 times better than recycling My bag gives me the force Your bag gives me remorse My bag gives me center strength Your bag I want at arm's length my bag crocheted by a teacher. We all know your bags are a demon feature. My bag, a little bit grouchy. Your bag makes me do the grouchy. I want to thank the millions of Californians who are stepping up and reusing for the benefit of our state and beyond for all life on this most precious planet. I am confident that we are on track together to go negative in August and continuing our progress to bring bag use down. And uh, but I need every one of you to step up and do your part. If someone tells you they're not going to bring their own bag, they're not going to reuse, well, you can tell them. It's time that we let the world see we stand with her or not the plastic industry. We're doing the right thing because prevention is 50 times better than recycling. It's time that we let the world see we stand with her, not the plastic industry. We're doing the right thing. Because prevention is 50 times better than recycling. Better than recycling. That's what I said, though. Better than recycling. Better than recycling. That's what I said, though. Better than recycling. Okay, I'm done. So, do you actually recycle all these plastics? Well, I reuse them. I recycle them. But mostly, I cherish them. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This year, this is the top of the heat, without question. Look at this shape sustain right here. Yes. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's, it's almost perfect. 1967. Listen. Plastic. Do you remember the graduate? And, and how, much, how much is that? Is hold, it, hold this. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not in the same room as you thought. I can't, I can't hold it. Look at this. The shape. The color. The smell, feel this, feel this. Well, I can't feel anything. I remember, not the same room. Well, if you were here and you could feel this, it, it, it's famous for its shape sustain. Mm hmm Well, I mean, so. If, if you were to go out for a bite, ah, you, you would still feel the plastic. Mm hmm so this here, this is obvious, this is a headset. I right hear this is a high density polymer resin radio device. Oh, I see. I usually, I usually I kind see. of strap it on, strap it on down here on the side, getting ready to go on the stage. Uh, it's a wireless headset. Exactly. It's a plastic wireless headset. I plug it in. I can walk and talk without any of that muckety muck. You can go anywhere, anywhere all over the stage with that. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This here, this here, this is this is one of my favorites right here. Look at this. Has the old tagger on there. 
Mm -hmm. Never used, brand new, never used, reused, perfect. So you just bought that. Don't touch this. Do not, you do not touch this. No well, touch. Well, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to touch it. I was just, again, I'm not in the same room. I, I was just pointing at it. Do not point at this. Don't point. Don't even point. Look, I'm never going to recycle this, ever. Well, can I, can I look at it? No, don't look. Avert your eyes. Don't look Avert at it. Okay. So this here, this here is a top. I use this when I'm on stage. Yeah. See, this is, it's got an eight on the back. Oh, oh yeah, I see. So this is an eight, and this is an eight. And these others here, these are both eights. Right here, those are eights. And most plastic containers go up to seven. Exactly. Does that mean it's better? Is it any better? Well, this one's better, isn't it? It's not PET. It's not HDP. Look, most books, they can recycle ones and twos, maybe fives. Yeah. But that's so common. That's everywhere, right? Yeah. So if you're doing a, 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 pla a recycling sword and you're going through plastics, what? One through seven. That's it. Where else is there? I don't know. So if I need that little bit of extra something to get me over the edge, what do you think I do? You go to an eight. Eight. Exactly. One better. Well, why don't you just make everything out of ones, twos, and fives, and then have everything go up to seven, and make seven the top, and make that one a little bit more recyclable? This one's an eight. Hey everyone, this is Mike Dirt with Greenwash. Remember when buying plastic products to look for the compostable or biodegradable symbols. Simply put them in your green bin and make them into healthy soil. Less garbage, more dirt, everyone wins. Biodegradable plastics may cost more, but they're worth it. Just simply throw them in and then you're done. Thanks everybody, remember to stay green. Just a small town girl Living someplace really rural She couldn't find a buyback anywhere Just a city boy The city's closed and he's annoyed He couldn't find a buyback Cans and bottles filling up my room They smell of beer and pop residue For a nickel is it worth the fight I hold on and on and on and on Working hard to get my dime Well my deposit back is mine Going out of doors to roll the dice In COVID time Got my gloves 
disguise my mask Six feet apart is all they ask Oh, the waiting never ends It goes on and on and on and on Don't stop redeeming Gotta keep recycling Buy back senses, bring them back Don't stop redeeming Gotta keep recycling Buy back senses, bring them back Don't stop redeeming Keep on recycling Buy back Sisters, bring them back. Hey. Thank you. Hi. Trey School here. You may know me as the drummer for the junk rock band Greenwash. I'm here today with an important environmental tip. Ask your local school board about switching to styrofoam trays in the cafeteria. They're completely recyclable. And think of all the water you'll save not having to wash all of those reusable trays. Thanks for listening and remember to stay green. Hi. I'm Gary Liss with the Zero Waste International Alliance. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me. Hey, no problem, Gary. Anything for zero waste. No, that's the problem. All those products you've been promoting won't actually get us to zero waste. You mean those corporations have been lying to us about how green their products are? Exactly. You guys are being used. But what about that company we did the ad for? You know, the one that said all their factories were Zero waste to landfill? Zero waste to landfill is exactly the problem. They took their discards to an incinerator instead and burned them all. That's not real zero waste. Oh man, I feel like such an American idiot. I don't want to be a recycling hypocrite. Don't wanna be a recycling hypocrite Spreading little green life through the media Consume our way to an eco-utopia The subliminal greenwash America We reject the latest presenting Zero waste and blue generation Meat that gets burned out, trash away Promises of a greater tomorrow We've got to confirm before we follow Don't let the ad man fool you Choose reuse when you bag in America We're not a part of the wasting agenda Don't listen to the false propaganda and keep a skeptical dose of paranoia. We reject the latest pretension. Zero waste includes the generation. We 
To my way to an eco utopia, selling out to corporate America. We reject the latest pretension, zero waste includes incineration. We can't just burn our trash away. Promises of the green of tomorrow, we've got to confirm before we follow. Don't let the lightning for you. Hi again, it's Marty DeBerge. In the year leading up to COVID, few remember, but some of us had the unbelievable fortune of seeing, to me, one of the greatest ventriloquist shows on earth, Monty and Murphy. Even in the act's early stages, there was something about the duo that set them apart from the rest. Years of unsustainability provided much of the inspiration to the act, which addressed the angst insecurities and uncertainties of a future generation until one day it all went to the dumps and the monty and murphy act was dropped off just short of becoming nicker player infamy this is their story this is the story of monty and murphy hey there murphy we sure have been traveling a lot why we've been to rancho santa fe Rancho Mirage, and even Rancho Cucamonga. Yeah, the act is really picking up there. We were getting bales of laughs, and boy, am I wasted. <laughs> yeah, we sure did get wasted in Burlingame. Why, I hardly remember that conference. <laughs> Say, did we ever get paid for that game? Speak for yourself, big guy. Don't put me in the same bin as you, pal. You need to sort yourself out. Yeah, well, I guess you're right. My therapist did say I need to focus on my redeeming qualities. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. In the beginning, it seemed like we were unstoppable. It seemed like there was no end of the road in sight. Monty's jokes got stale. After a while, they stunk to high heaven. They were simply rotten. I'll admit, we were using old bits. But you gotta understand, these old bits were gold. Or at least to buy metal. But in the end, by reusing these old bits, it put us on top of the pyramid. Okay, wise guy, here's one for you. Why is it that in every city we travel to, the trash and recycling bins are different colors? What do you mean? Well, that's confusing. Confusing? Yeah, haven't you ever noticed? Take the trash, for instance. In one city, it might be brown, and the next city gray? Well, I've even seen maroon. I've never noticed that. You haven't? No, I'm colorblind. <laughs> After a while, Murphy couldn't handle recycling our old jokes anymore. It really got him down in the dumps. Sure, yeah, I 
was off the rails. Getting wasted every day. Nothing. Nobody could pick up Murphy. All the money, all the resources in the world couldn't get him back online. But that's not what got him into the line. Then came the masks. Those. <laughs> Those. <laughs> masks. <laughs> delivery, again. Well, if it's not delivery, it's takeout. You remember what happened last time when you wanted to get carry out. Yeah, I was the one who got carried out. <laughs> you sure were. Say, Murphy, why don't you throw this pizza box into the trash can for me? What do you mean? Well, isn't that where it goes? Into the trash? Who's the dummy here? <laughs> hey, that's not nice, Murphy. Well, didn't they just tell us that pizza boxes go into the blue bin now? Well, last week I thought they went into the green bin. Well, if they don't go into the trash and they don't go into the oh, blue yeah, bin, then obviously they should go into the You're green so bin. Confused me. Well, confuse me. <laughs> Take me off. What? Carry me off stage. The face mask killer act. Those f***ing masks. Those f***ing masks. You see, with the ventriloquist act, it all depends on you not seeing my mouth move and you're paying all your attention to Murphy. What kind of question is that? You know, this is what really grinds my gears about these interviews. You come to interview a ventriloquist's dummy, and you don't even know how a ventriloquist's act works? Doesn't the producer fill you in on this stuff? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Who's the one with the most for brains? It was bad. With no money coming in, Murphy and I, we had to close down shop. He lost all resources. He went offline. He might tell you it's fine, but <laughs> I'm fine. Business as usual here. No change in me. <laughs> Those of us in the know, we know. We know Murphy went offline. Where'd Murphy go? What's that? Oh. Uh, you know, I don't know where Murphy is. But what I will tell you is, if I know Murphy, he's gonna get his redemption someday. And now, back by popular demand and purient interest, fresh off the 14-day quarantine on the love boat, here is Purser Ben and Mrs. Robinson. People hate waste more than you did know No, no, no God save you please, Mrs. Robinson Hell holds a place for those who waste Waste, waste, waste Waste, waste, waste About you for our files. We'd like to help you learn to help yourself. Look around you, all you see are sympathetic eyes. Stroll around the ship till you feel at ease with zero waste. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. People hate waste more than you did know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God save you, please, 
Mrs. Robinson Hell holds a place for those who waste Waste, waste, waste Waste, waste, waste No more hiding in places where no one ever goes Swap it out with dishes in the cupboard It's not a secret, it's a global safe affair Most of all, you've got to stop waste for the kids who could So, Rick, you're really one of the founding fathers of Zero Waste. Like, can you tell me where you were when it all started? Uh, it was 1970, and uh, we were at Long Beach State uh, at the recycling drop-off, which was our new job, and we had found out that uh, Old News was getting $100 a ton because of a strike in Canada. And then the first Earth Day, were predicting that recycling would be the prime industrial feedstock by the year 2000. Wow, 1970. So you really are a founding grandfather, aren't you? Well, okay, fine. I, I helped birth and grow the California Resource Recovery Association in 1974, the National Recycling Coalition in 1980, the Grassroots Recycling Network in 1996, the Zero Waste International Alliance in 2001, and then, you know, not to be stopped, Zero Waste San Diego in 2007. So you might actually call me a founding midwife, but a member of the worldwide Zero Waste family. You know, the process was based on a 1967 summer of love, combining love-ins and confrontation politics with annual meetups. Gee, gee, that is amazing. I wish I, wish I could have been there. What was it like to, to, to be in the room where it happened? Well, it was a small family. It just seems I happened to be at the right place at the right time uh, with the right mood altering substances. It was good karma. <laughs> well, what's next? Well, as a zero waste elder, I figured we were overdue for a declaration, a zero waste declaration. It's really quite simple. Here's uh, from the beginning of the preamble. The first Earth Day was 50 years ago. Recycling as natural industrial child was envisioned to complete the resource circle, save the wilderness, generate jobs, and build the back end of the GMP all at once. Well, we are ready now to establish a collective goal of zero waste, which is the conservation of all resources by means of responsible production, consumption, reuse, and recovery of products packaging, 
and materials without burning and with no discharges to land, water, or air that will threaten the environment or human health. Wow. Wow, Rick, that is, that is really profound. But wait, there's more. And you can't make this stuff up. This is all developed by an international peer group uh, using really? Zoom all over the world. <laughs> so the Zero Waste World can be founded on environmental and social justice with vibrant communities in harmony with nature. Source separation is the basic principles of the zero waste approach. Manufacturers must redesign products for recycling or composting as an end use after reuse and repair. With that goal, we can collect all discards and after redesign and discarded materials and products that are separated at the source and sort them into fractions for reuse, recycling, or composting with nothing left out and nothing left over. Great. But we can build this worldwide network of resources, recovery parks, to handle all discards as refined resources. We can ban products that are now required wasting to compel redesign for durability, repair, and recycling, and composting. We can end subsidies for resource extractions and support choosing recovered materials first for manufacturing, for manufacturing. Our power as advocates and professionals is to show what is possible and help the policymakers avoid mistakes in meeting the goals that we help them envision. <laughs> um, I'll have what he's having. Uh, we can do it together. Peace, love, be safe, don't drink bleach. Big plastic and enviros walked into a room diametrically opposed foes. They emerge with a compromise having opened doors that were previously closed, bros. Both Alan and Gonzalez thought they had a deal, real, Big Green had everything they could want, Big Oil had rates and dates and pushed back a van, and there's P.S. de Resistance. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No, no one really knows, knows how, how the game is played, played, the yard of trade, how the sausage gets made. We just assume that it happens. No, no one else was in the room where it happens. This, this year, year, everyone is focused on the budget and the novel coronavirus. This, this year, year, opposition thinks they can kill or chill the bill. Just to defy us. Zero wasters would like to see more source reduction. But COVID excuses more plastic production. They might get away with a covert COVID compromise. But we can't go to Sacramento to see it with our own Surprise. eyes. We're all no-shows. I suppose. Wouldn't you like to work a little closer to home? Actually, it blows. We'll propose the commission to get their permission. But they're in remission till next year. Yo, we gotta get in the Zoom where it happens. The Zoom where it happens. The Zoom where it happens. Got to get in the Zoom where it happens, the Zoom where it happens, the Zoom where it happens. Oh no, we cannot trust that we ever really know what it was to trust. Ah, click boom, it'll happen. We gotta get into the Zoom where it happens. COVID couldn't stop the Plastic Free Initiative from qualifying. The voters can pass the plastic ban without a compromise, it's satisfying. But do you know, even now, we need to lobby at the California Capitol because we still need this bill. We're in a tight spot. Get this bird in our hand. Don't know what the bush has got. When you got skin in the game, you stay in the game. But you don't get a win unless you play in the game. Oh, you get love for it. You get hate for it. You get nothing if you wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. wait. You got to stay with us. We got to build something that's going to outlive us. What do we want now? What do we want now? We, we want to be in the Zoom when it happens, the Zoom when it happens. We, we want to be in the Zoom where it happens, the Zoom where it happens. We, 
We want to be in that zoom when it happens. We want to be in that zoom. We want to be, we want to be, we want to be. want to be, want to be right in that zoom. We want to be, we want to be in, in that big old zoom. Won't hold our nose or close our eyes. We want to be just to save the day. Styrofoam never goes away. We dream that the brand will start to be responsible for their part, or else send tune in the landfill. We've got to be in the zoo. We've got to be in the zoo. Wanna be here? We gotta be. We gotta be in that big old big gold in the zoo. Scooter? Uh, yeah, Chief? Remind me to stop setting up these video conferences. They're not very productive. You got it. Sheesh.